Ever since the Indy 500 in 2009, it's been my dream to become an IndyCar champion. As a kid, Ryan was always interested in motorized vehicles at like two years old, three years old. I started racing dirt bikes probably from when I was about six years old. So I've had that experience all the way up until 16. And then my dad took me to Skid Barber Racing Schools. Ryan was the fastest out of all 16 of the students. Once I went to Skip Barber, that was the complete turning point right there. And after that, I would say he was hooked. Ryan's coach contacted me and said that Ryan would like to do an Atlantic test. I went to New Jersey Motorsports Park and got a seat made for him. And Tony and I saw talent pretty quickly. Spends 100% of his time researching. If he's not on a simulator, he's watching videos. He really throws himself 100% into the sport. Every day after school, I go train with my trainer, Marvell. I was able to sort of gather a little bit of driver fitness, sort of what they do in Indianapolis, put our spin to it, and then make sure that I isolate onto Ryan's strengths and even keying in on some of his weaknesses. And with that, we birth our program, the driver fitness, courtesy of Ryan Norman. We usually start off with just heavy weight. As we get closer to race weekend, we work higher reps with lower weight. And then every night I spend two hours on the simulator and learn the tracks, learn the cars. Part of the game of the sport is constantly improving yourself. It's completely on my mind 24-7. have certain sensors on the cars that relay how the driver behaves in the car, what he does with the car. We looked at the data and made some adjustments. My next time out, I hit a 158. Rolling more speed into the corners, the lap time came from that. I think a great racer is able to grow and change and realize that they're always learning. And I think Ryan understands that very well. Many drivers get stuck in one place or they, they can't seem to excel. But uh, so far we've seen, we've seen the progress, which is good. The future could be very bright here if we continue to do what we're doing. When the helmet goes on, everything else goes away. Just in the moment. The speed, the adrenaline rush, the track in the car, it's in my blood. Best feeling in the world. Complete lift off the shoulders. You feel like a million bucks. And that's what I love about it.